Hello, my name's Dave Austin, and today I'd like to talk to you about the MIT 400 series of insulation and continuity testers from MEGA. There are eight products in the range, and these are split into three product subcategories. For electrical service, maintenance, general installation work, and electrical utilities, we have the MIT 400, 410, 420, and 430. For telecoms applications, we've got the MIT 480, 481, and 485. And for specialist applications, we have the MIT 40X. Now, I'll be going through the differences between each of these eight products later on in the video. All eight instruments are CAT4 600 volt rated. That means not only are they completely safe to use on the electrical installation inside a building, they're also safe to use on the electrical installation outside feeding the building. Now, all instruments have dual display analog arc LCD, that is backlit. The dual display enables you to see the value of the insulation resistance and at the same time, the actual test voltage which is being applied. The analog arc enables you to see things like capacitive charging currents or varying readings. The products will also measure continuity and they have a selectable continuity buzzer. And they'll measure voltage, AC and DC, true RMS. Probably the most important feature that makes the MIT 400 series stand above the rest of the insulation and continuity testers available on the market today is its rugged design. And that's both physically and electrically. And we'll attempt to show you this throughout the video. All of the instruments in the MIT 400 range come with leads, carrying prods and clips, a set of batteries and a calibration certificate. And all of this is contained within a blow moulded case to protect the instrument in transit. Here we have the MIT 400, which is the entry level product. It has 250, 500 and 1000 volt insulation test ranges. It has a continuity range with a buzzer, a kilo ohms range, and a voltage measuring range. The MIT 410 has all of the ranges and features of the MIT 400 with the addition of 50 and 100 volt insulation testing ranges and an increased measurement capability up to 100 gig ohms. With this product, you can also perform polarization index ratio, dielectric absorption ratio, and other time tests. The MIT 420 and 430 have a measurement range further extended to 200 gig ohms and also have the addition of a capacitance range. These two products are identical in that they can store and recall results to the display with the MIT 430 having the additional capability of being able to Bluetooth the test results. The MIT 480 is the entry-level test product for the telecoms instruments in the range. It has 50 and 100 volt insulation testing ranges up to 100 gig ohms. It's also able to measure insulation resistance on a communication line with up to 75 volts standing on it. And that equates to a fairly significant amount of crosstalk. Moving up from there, we have the MIT 481. This has additional 250, 500 and 1000 volt insulation test ranges, can measure to 200 gig ohms and is also able to display leakage current. There's a kilo ohm range and the ability to measure capacitance. Now, Using capacitance measurements, it's possible to determine the distance to an open circuit fault. The MIT 481 is also able to measure frequency and can store test results and recall them to the instrument display. The top of the range, MIT 485, is identical to the MIT 481, except that it has the additional ability to transmit test results by Bluetooth. The final product to mention is the MIT 40X. This is a special application insulation tester and features a single insulation test range with a variable test voltage. The test voltage can be set anywhere between 10 volts and 100 volts with 1 volt increments. It has insulation leakage current display 
as well as the insulation resistance value and a continuity measurement range up to 100 ohms. As with all of the products, it has true RMS AC and DC voltage measurement facility as well. Using an MIT485, what I'm going to do now is a demonstration of the insulation testing, continuity testing with a buzzer, and I'll also show you the test inhibit which occurs if the product is inadvertently connected to a live supply. For the purpose of demonstrating the insulation test, I've connected a 25 mega ohm resistor between the red and black crocodile clips. So first of all, we select the test voltage. In this case, I'm going to select 500 volts and then simply press and hold the test button. And you can see displayed there the reading of 25.1 mega ohms, both digital and on the analog arc, and then above it a reading of 551 volts. And that is the actual test voltage. OK, so that was the insulation test. Now let's look at the continuity measurement range with the buzzer. To measure continuity, you should first null out the test leads. To do that, we connect them together with a path of minimum resistance, and we select the continuity range. We can hear the buzzer because the leads are connected together. So we can see a reading of 0 0.01, which is the resistance of the leads. But If we press the test button, we'll null that out, and we can see the null symbol has appeared in the display. So let's just turn the buzzer off, and Place the clips across a 5 ohm resistor. And without having to press the test button, we can see now that it's just measuring fractionally over 5 ohms with an output current of 205 milliamps. We're now going to have a look at the test inhibit function. All of the products in the MIT 400 family are protected against accidental connection to a live main supply. And I'm going to show that to you now. So here I have a mains lead, which is connected to the device. Let's switch it to the continuity range. It will read open circuit. I'm now going to simply plug it into the mains. Now you'll see that the product immediately warns you of a live voltage by repeatedly sounding the buzzer, and it automatically changes to a voltage range showing the actual voltage that's present. Now I can push the test button, I can select different ranges, and it will not damage the instrument. And more importantly, it won't damage you. Now, what makes the MIT 400 series superior to virtually every product on the market is this. If I initiate an insulation test, let's say 500 volts, and that's reading a massive 35 gig ohms. Now, we plug it into the mains, with the test button still pressed, and in this situation, the product is completely safe. When I let go of the test button, it actually reverts back to the voltage measuring screen with, of course, the warning buzzer. But again, most importantly, neither the product nor the operator has come to any harm. What I'm going to show you now is the true RMS AC and DC measurement range. Now, while all MIT 400 series instruments are able to display mains level voltage on any range, they do all, in fact, have a selectable, dedicated voltage measurement range as well. Now, I simply plug into the main supply, and for the purpose of demonstration, we'll see that we have 239 volts, and it's reassuringly bang on 50 cycles. So that concludes the overview and product demonstration of the MIT 400 series of insulation and continuity testers. All of these products are manufactured at our facility in Dover in the UK, and they all come with a three-year manufacturer's warranty. We also have free lifetime technical support on all of our products. If you'd like more information, please phone our sales office on 01304 502 101, or you can call our technical support department on 01304 502 102. You'll also find details on our website, www.mega.com forward slash UK, or you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Thank you very much.